Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be solving 996A which is a hit the lottery. So it says that Alan has a lot of money. He has N dollars in the bank. For security reasons he wants to withdraw it in cash. We will not disclose the reasons here. The denominations Four dollar bills are one, five, ten, twenty, and one hundred. What is the minimum number of bills Alan could receive after withdrawing his entire balance? So when I first saw this problem and it says it was a greedy slash DP problem, um, you know, I was thinking, yeah, maybe it would be is just just recursion for it, and then you know, cash everything, but. In this case, it's quite easier if we do, did the did this in reverse, where we start from the hundred, and then the twenty, and then the ten, five, and one, and we just look what's left over after each uh, denomination, all right? And then uh, we just add that to the amount of bills. That should give us the answer for this. So, you know, for example, like for uh, one twenty-five here, if we go through the hundred, that's one, and then the next thing is going to be twenty right so 20 into 25 that's one and then five is left over and that gives us three is the the max so if we had um 43 you know we can get uh two 20s and three ones so that makes it five bills all right so let's go ahead and uh, tackle this problem so we're gonna include uh, stdio dot h. I think that's probably all we need. And we could do a type def here. Of uh, let's do on sign long long uh, int. And let's call this one ull. All right. So then let's create main. So I can say ull. And the first thing we need is the money. We need the money. And then uh, we can do the leftover uh, after uh, denom the denomination. All right? And then we need the uh, number of bills. Uh, we can set this to zero. So zero. You. All right. So we can start with the uh, hundred bill, and then go to the twenty bill, ten bill, five bill, and for the ones, we just add the whatever is at the one. So you're gonna do. Let's do. Uh, so left over after nominations is going to equal uh, money, right? Mod. 100 you allow or allow you all right and then what we want to do is take the number of bills so uh, number of bills is going to plus equal to we're going to do um, money right divided by 100 and then all we need to do is uh make money the leftovers so money is going to equal to uh, leftover after nomination and we could just copy this here and we're going to paste this for 20 net for 5 we just got to change the numbers around so copy and paste so um so yeah, this is for 20 so for 20 you just got to change this to 20 and 20. Let's copy this. And then this is going to be for 10. So we'll just change this to 10s. I hope you guys catch my logic for this. Um, so, what we're doing is that we're starting from the biggest number, and um, after we've gone through each denomination, 
whatever is left over, we try to see if the next nomination will fit into that. If it doesn't, then we just move to the next thing. Uh, I don't think adding if statements here might be good because we could just check to see if um, the value is greater than the bill that we're trying to actually check for. And if it is, we check that rather than going through all the checks. But this is a competitive programming thing. Time matters here. Um, all right, so we just do it for uh, five. So let's change this for fives. Uh, all right, so after fives, we just have one. So whatever is left after this is just gonna be for one. So uh, for one, all we can just do is say that uh, number of bills, because we're at the end, we don't actually check for ones. It's gonna equal to the amount of money. at the end. Um, then I uh, just need to print out the uh, number of bills. Percent value. Uh, number of bills. Let me see. So. Alright, and then um, what I need to do is make sure that we actually take in our money before we do this. So I'll do you and then we'll take in our money. All right. All right. So let's run this. And I think so for was it forty three? Yeah, it was 53. We should get 5, which is correct. And then um, I think it was 1. So 125. So for 1, 2, 5, she give us 3, which is correct. So we're going to copy this. Here to put forces, submit, uh, paste it, and hit the submit button. So there we are. So they're going through the test cases, and boom, it's good. All right, guys, this will be it for this problem. I'll see you guys in the next one. You know what? Maybe I will just write another one that actually uses recursion and does caching so that. You can run that and just see how we would solve this problem using that uh, approach. All right, so that's probably going to be another video I'm going to post. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one.